Tony here. Welcome to this week's video. This video, I would like to explain what assets I think we should be invested in for the first two months of 2021. And also, as you know, things changed in December. Interest rates started going up. Inflation fears are starting to arise. And we made some changes. Uh, we got out of bonds. In fact, we went short bonds. And we got out of gold. And in fact, we went uh, short gold. So in this video, I would like to run through every single asset class that I think we should be invested in at the beginning of 2021. Let's start by looking at what happened this year so far in the few trading days we've had. The Russell is up 6% and the NASDAQ, the S&P and the Dow are all up 1.5% each, which is absolutely amazing. Also, let's take a look at what happened in the sector ETFs. So far this year, as we can see, uh, the real estate sector is down only 2%. And utilities, which are also uh, interest rate sensitive, are down half a percent. And unbelievable, energy started the year crazy. Crazy up 9% for the year, same as materials and consumer discretionary stocks. I also like industrials this year, but we'll talk about that later. Let's see what happened this week in the FANG stocks. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know if you guys realize that Tesla was up 24% for the year. Yeah, for 2021, Tesla is up 24%. Then Google is up 2.5%. And the ugly duckling of the gang is Netflix down 5% with Amazon, Facebook, and Microsoft down fractionally for the 2021 year. Now, this is the important list for the first two months of 2021. And here are the sectors that I want to focus on. For the ETFs, I like technology, industrials, financials, energy, and materials. These are the sectors that I, I really want to focus on, uh, especially at the beginning of the year. What about UUP? UUP is the US dollar. And the reason why I like a lot of things in this chart is because I think the US dollar is going to go down and go down very, 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 very hard. And... Uh, so far for one year, the US dollar is down 7%. And I think the, the US dollar is going to have a rough time going up this year. Other stuff that I like are emerging markets. Emerging markets like uh, Brazil, South Korea, Taiwan, Spain, Netherlands, Austria. These are also uh, an important sector that benefits from the US dollar going down. And if you are asking, when should I buy this, Tony? You should buy everything that I'm mentioning on this list on every single dip opportunity that you have. Another thing that I like a lot are commodities. And commodities like corn, like copper, everything except gold. And if you're asking yourself, Tony, why not gold? Well, gold is different. Gold trades separately. Gold moves with interest rates. And when interest rates are going up, gold doesn't like it. And gold tends to go down. So it's very important to keep an eye on, on interest rates, on TLT, etc., to know where uh, the US dollar and interest rates are going and uh, in order to, to be on the right side of the trade. Another stock that I like a lot for this uh, period is IVOL, which is a way to invest in a treasury type indice that benefits from the increase of inflation. And also, I like Chinese discretionary stocks. I like Argentina. Argentina, yeah. Argentina has probably a worse government than even Mexico right now. But Argentina is really down and it will benefit extremely from a devaluation of the US dollar. Other important uh, stocks on this list are cannabis stocks that I, I think are gonna benefit. And I also like uh, 
if you want to have a place to uh, park your money, LQD, which is the liquid uh, short-term treasury ETF. And basically that's it. If you want to know where to invest in 2021, we are going to invest in these main, these main sectors of the S&P 500, technology, industrials, financials, energy, and materials. We're also going to invest in emerging market ETFs and including South Korea, Taiwan, Spain, Netherlands, Australia, and Argentina. We're also going to invest in this consumer sector of the Chinese economy. We're also going to invest in commodities, including corn, cow, copper, etc. everything except gold. And uh, if you want to also put some money in some currencies, currencies are going to do well against the US dollar. Currency like the Japanese yen and the Swiss franc are going to do extremely, extremely well. And uh, on the indices, the Russell, which I know the Russell, one third or one, or one fourth of the Russell stocks are garbage. They don't even make any money. They're bankrupt companies, but the Russell should keep going up. And if you, you're you asking me when, Tony, when should I buy these stocks? Well, I would buy them on any dip. Right now, of course, you, we can see here that cannabis is already up 13% for the year. So that's not a dip. Energy is up 9%. Uh, Chinese consumer is up... Uh, Chinese internet is up 7%. Chinese consumer is also up 7%. So these are stocks that right now I'm not interested in buying. But I think we're going to get an opportunity in XLI and in some industrials, maybe in Argentina, maybe if we get a dip in corn or, or some of the country ETFs like Australia, the Netherlands, etc. I would take advantage of this opportunity to invest my money there. So there you have it. Keep an eye on the US dollar, the UUP shown here. Just take a look. Take a look at what's going on. It's unbelievable. Look at this. The UUP is just going down like crazy. The US dollar is getting pounded. And what happens when the US dollar gets pounded? Well, a lot of stuff starts working. Emerging markets start working and uh, currencies start working, etc. I will also would like to keep an eye on the TLT, which are the bonds. The bonds, as you can see here, are going down. And when bonds go down, what does that mean? Interest rates start going up. If you want to look at interest rates, you don't want to look at the bonds. Then look at TNX, which are the interest rates. Besides the UUP, keep an eye on the VIX, the volatility index. So there you have it. I gave you a nice, good list of stocks you can follow and get invested in. And uh, just to summarize really quick, I like uh, some sectors of the S&P 500. I like uh, emerging markets and foreign markets. I like currencies like the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen. I like commodities like corn, copper, um, cow, etc. And I like everything except, uh, I only don't like two things right now. I don't like bonds. So I, I would either be short TLT or avoid TLT completely. And I will also will be short gold or avoid gold. If you don't like shorting, you can avoid gold completely. Remember, right now is not the best time to be buying these indices because of course, everything just you know went up right out of the gates for 2021 but have this list handy have it ready so when you see any dip any any chance to profit from a dip in these uh sectors go ahead and invest you know maybe 25 percent, 33 percent of your uh final position on each buy so between three and four buys you can have a uh, built your position uh properly at least for the first two or three months of the year if you trade correctly, if you use mathematically correct trades like the trades that are taught at Tasty Trade and at Tasty Works, then you can use your uh, 
trading skills to put on mathematically correct and high probability trades on each of these indices. And you could even put a short call verticals uh, on TLT and GLD against uh, in, on any rip. If TLT and GLD go up, I wouldn't mind selling some uh, short call verticals. And uh, I wouldn't mind selling some short put verticals in uh, the list that I have showing here. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you consider this video useful, consider sharing it to somebody who might benefit. Also, remember to click like, subscribe, and uh, hit the little bell notifications to get alerted when I post a new video. Also, if you want to learn about uh, how to become a millionaire, I have a free course link below, nine steps of becoming a permanent millionaire. And also, if you want to open an account at the best uh, brokerage house, the one I use to trade, you, there's a link below to open your Tastyworks account. Remember, it's very important for you to be on the right side of the trade, on the right underlines that are going to benefit from this uh, macroeconomic environment that we're living right now. Don't chase, buy the dips, and also you can sell the rips on interest rates, TLT, and in gold. It's crazy out there. Good luck trading, everyone. And remember, you got to risk it to get the biscuit, baby.